Let's learn how to create the if statement in this worksheet. This worksheet is the employee bonus worksheet. We have employees, what their sales were for the year, and in column C we want to calculate the bonus. The bonus amount, if they reach a certain amount, will be $2,000, which is found in B14. So let's look at the yellow text. If the sales are greater than or equal to $30,000, then the employee will receive the bonus amount. If the sales are not greater, then the employee gets nothing. And the if statement looks like this. If the logical test is true, I want the computer to do this, and if not, I want it to do this. So logical test, something that can be measured by the computer. What can we measure for this one? Let's start all formulas begin with an equal sign. Type in if and then the left parenthesis and now you'll notice in our screen tip we're looking for that logical test. What is our logical test up here? It is sales greater than 30,000. So where are my sales? Do I write sales or should I put in a cell reference? In this case, we're going to put in a cell reference. So if my sales are greater than or equal to 30,000. Now notice when I put in 30,000, I don't put the comma because the comma, if you look at the if statement, separates the logical test from the true and the false. So I can't put any commas in numbers in my if statement, comma. If it's true, what do they get? they get a bonus amount of two thousand dollars and that is found in B14. Now remember B14 is needs to stay constant because when we copy it down we don't want the cell reference to change so let's click on the F4 key there. If they don't get over thirty thousand we want the computer to return a false value of zero. So I'm going to type in a zero press the right arrow or the right parenthesis and press enter. Now let's go ahead and we should be able to copy this down and we have a couple of people that got bonuses. Okay, let's try this again. This time instead of doing zero and I guess I should show you what I'm doing, I'm just double clicking in the cell. Instead of zero, I want the computer to return a some text, and I want it to say no bonus. And this time, I want it, to, um, in order for that to work, I need to put it in quotes. So I put quote, no bonus, quote. I'm going to press the enter key, and notice it returns a no, the words, no bonus for some individuals, and 2,000 for other individuals. I hope this helps creating the if statement. The book shows you how to create an if statement a little different, but it's important that you know how to create if statements several different ways and you use what's easiest for you. Got questions? Let me know or post on the discussion thread.